In this video, I'll show how to copy a course in Newton Alta as well as copy a course in D2L Brightspace. You may wish to copy a course if you plan on using the same assignments and assessments in your course outline from one semester to the next. In D2L, you may also wish to copy a course so you can maintain your module or folder organization, as well as any assignment organization or assignment weighting. To start, let's copy a course in Newton Alta. First, you want to click into your original course. Then click Settings on the top right. We'll scroll down to the Copy This Course area. Click Copy Link next to Copy This Course. I recommend scrolling up to the top and going back to the home page by clicking My Courses. Then put that link in the URL of the browser and click Enter. In this screen, make adjustments for Term 2 or Semester 2. So I'll get rid of Copy Of. Put Term 2 here. Select my institution. Choose my new dates. Lastly, I'll choose the Learning Management System from the drop-down menu. Then click Copy. Now your course has been copied over for the new term. Click on Settings on the top right, and then we'll scroll down to the LMS configuration area in the new course. There are two links down here that we'll need to utilize momentarily. For now, let's copy the course in D2L. In D2L, you should go to the new term course for the new semester. In the new term course, it will most likely be empty, and so we'll be copying the contents over from term one into term two. To do that, click on more here and then course admin, and then click import, export, copy components. Click on search for offering, and we'll want to search for the course from the previous semester. I'll type in some keywords to find my previous course, and click enter, and I can find my term one course that I wanna copy over. I'll click the radio button and click Add Selected. And then I'll click Copy All Components. We'll see that the copy is in progress. And then we can see that the copy is complete. We'll click View Content to get to the syllabus page for the new term course. On the left-hand side, we have our Newton Coursework module and all the previous assignments, as well as assessments, copied over from Term 1 into Term 2. However, we want to make sure that this Term 2 course in D2L is connected to the Term 2 course in Newton's Alta. To do that, we'll go back to Newton Alta, and there's going to be two links that we need to replace in the Term 2 D2L course. You do want to double check you're in that new term, or in this case, Term 2, and we'll start by copying the course LTI link. So you click copy link here. We'll go back to D2L. You're gonna to go to course admin once again, and then you'll want to click on external learning tools. So what we're looking for is that we're looking for the course LTI link or the course assignment. It either would be called link this section to Newton Alta, or it will be the title of the course itself. In this case, it is linked the section of Newton Alta, so I'll click the arrow down. I'll click Edit Link. And what we want to do is that we want to completely remove this URL right here, since technically this is attached to Term 1 still. So we'll remove this. And then we'll paste in that link we copied from Newton's Alta from Term 2. You should scroll down and make sure that you uncheck Allow Users to View This Link, since this is considered a faculty resource then click Save and Close. We also need to replace one more link. So if I go back to Newton Zalta, we have the Review Center LTI link. I'll click Copy Link. We'll go back to D2L, and we want to find the Review Center. In this case, it's right here. You click the arrow down, Edit Link, completely remove this URL right here, and paste in the new one. Then click Save and Close. 
So we've replaced the two links that need to be replaced so that term two in D2L is connected to term two in Newton's Alta. We'll click on the syllabus, and then we'll click into Newton coursework. And what we want to do next is that we do want to create the section from D2L into Newton's Alta. To do that, we'll click on the course link at the very top here, or the template link. Under Create Your Section, click Create, then click Launch a New Tab. And now we can see that our section has been created. So we see Term 2 here under the section and Term 2 here on the course level. We'll want to go back to D2L to test the configuration. I'll click on Newton Coursework right here. And this will take us back to our Newton Coursework module. To test out the integration, what we can do is that we can click on the first actual assignment, in this case, Sets and Venn Diagrams. So I'll click on this. I'll click Launch a New Tab. And if it's working properly, what it will do is that it will take us to the reporting page for this particular assignment as an instructor. I want to check that it is attached to Term 2. So I'll click on Section here. And I see Term 2 there, which is good. Then I'll click Course, and I see Term 2 here, which is great. The last thing I'll want to do is adjust the due dates for the new term or new semester. To do that, I'll click Manage next to the course outline. If I want to adjust the due date for one assignment, I'll just click on the due date next to the assignment. A calendar will pop up, choose the new date, and then click OK. If I want to change the due date for multiple assignments, then I can check the boxes on the left of the assignments, click Edit End Date, and choose the new date then click OK and proceed. Once you have copied the course in Newton's Alta and you've copied the course in D2L Brightspace and you've adjusted the due dates in your Newton Alta course, you are all set. That is how you copy a course in Alta as well as D2L for the new term.